what's up out there you guys Marty Schwartz here I've uh, been getting some emails people want some new licks uh, so I've just got a nice kind of just right above beginner blues lick for you to add to your arsenal because it's always nice to get a new lick I tried to make this one pretty easy we're in the key of C so it could be a C blues or a C rock we're using the C minor pentatonic scale you know it's just the rock solo scale basically <laughs> actually using a couple positions of it too but they're all from that extension I've got a ton of DVDs on all this stuff and also what I'm gonna do is leave a link down there for some free jam tracks so you can follow that link to get some backing tracks to practice licks over it's very helpful so anyway let's get to this little lick all right let's review the C minor pentatonic uh, extended scale real quick first of all the root is right here on the eighth fret and the extension starts a whole step below. It's not the root. The root's still that, but that note's part of the scale. I'm sorry. So we've got, uh, the root's that, but then we've got six, eight, six, eight, slide. We've got eight, 10, eight, 10, slide. And here's where it's a little tricky, only because the B string's a half step off from the other, the way the other strings are tuned. So we have 6, 8, 6, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, but then 11 on the B string. 11, 13, 11, 13. Each one of these little zones of the extension has uh, its own set of cool licks and tricks and all kinds of cool stuff you can do. Here's the lick though. Ring finger, just right from my power position here, or my home row, as Bob Ryan would say. And I slid, slide my ring finger up a whole step. And then middle finger on the 11 of the B. Because this lick, I'm going right back down into the home row again. But sometimes, if you know you're going to or you know just instinctually you're gonna go up to here sometimes I use my index finger there and I usually teach it with the index finger so you can go it, it connects all your fingers together but if I know that I'm not gonna go into this extra part I can just use my middle finger right there so anyway slide from the 10 to the 12 then 11 on the B with my middle finger so we got That's just a cool lick right, right in its own right. But what we're going to do is we're going to have our ring finger back on the 12. We're going to pick it and slide it back. So we got slide up, 11 on the B, and then ring back on the G, slide down. So we have... index finger on the 8th fret of the G, so then we go to the D string and we can go 10 to 8. And I'm pulling the 10 off to the 8, but you know, you could pick each note. I did was the exact same lick in an octave lower but because of that B string being tuned differently the fingering gets a little different it's actually easier then what we're gonna do is get our ring finger it's kind of a setup it's a setup uh, we're gonna go on the A string here eighth fret slid up a whole step and then index finger on the eighth fret of the D and then slide right from the 10 on the A again. Six, eight, six. Back to eight to end it. And then I did uh, what's called a C7 sharp nine or a C Hendrix chord. 
Middle finger on the root. Oops, sorry. <laughs> 